So today I want to talk about lines of credit. How do I get a line of credit? What is a line of credit? I get this every day in the comments on YouTube. I have many videos that discuss a line of credit and how to use a line of credit, but let's talk about what the criteria for a line of credit looks like. So you want to remember that a line of credit is always a revolving account. That means you can use it as much as you want to, putting income in, pulling expenses out, and there's no fees associated. So that is very important. If you have a fee every time you take a withdrawal, that's not any good. We don't want balance transfer fees. We don't even want annual fees where they charge us once a year just for having the silly account, right? So let's look at what kinds of lines of credit there are. There are personal and business. So you as an individual can get a line of credit, or if you have a business, you can get a business line of credit. The business lines of credit usually come with a higher limit. So you can have more available to you, such as with a personal line, you may start out at five, 10 or 15,000. With a business line, you may start out with 20, 25 or 50,000. It depends on how well your business is established. There are also unsecured and secured lines of credit. The unsecured is usually like your credit card and some personal lines of credit. The secured may be taking savings that you have and that backing up your line or being collateral for the amount that you are borrowing. I've even heard of people using a clear card title to gain a personal line of credit with the bank or credit union. Just make sure that if you're using collateral or your savings, that you are actually getting a personal line of credit and you're not getting a loan. We do not want loans. So if you're looking for a personal line of credit, contact your local credit union. Give them a call and ask for the loan department. Tell them that you are looking for a line of credit. Remember, it needs to be a revolving line. There's no fees associated with you taking money out and putting money in. You probably want to look for one that's under 15% interest rate as well. I know interest rates are high right now, but it seems like that the 15% and below is a decent rate in our current economy. It should be simple interest. Remember, compound interest usually is an amortization schedule with the same payment every single month until the loan pays off. Simple interest should be figured on an average daily balance, meaning that if it is 15%, they will figure what your average for balance has been throughout the month, and then they'll charge the 15% interest rate. We don't want loans, okay? So what credit score is needed for a personal line of credit? Well, I remember getting my personal line of credit started at about $7,000 and it was 640. So maybe you could even go lower with some credit unions around you, or maybe they need a higher credit score regardless ask them and they will tell you ask them what credit score you need to get their best interest rate but if you are wanting to start velocity banking just find out what kind of score you need to be approved for whatever interest rate because once you work the velocity system for a while your debt should be down and your credit score should really increase so then you can go back and get a better line if you need to in the future the point is being able to get started that's where I want to see you is started. Remember, if you're using a credit card for a line of credit currently, whether it be linked to your checking account directly, as I talk about in other videos, or whether it's just a credit card that you're using as an expense card to help you turn the payments into cash flow, remember, banks will cut limits on you when you least expect it. So if you take a $1,000 payment or you take a $4,000 payment that you're going to transfer into the line so that you have room in the line to charge your expenses throughout the month, they may cut your limit. When they cut your limit, you have no access to your funds now. So remember, focus on making smaller multiple payments throughout the week and month so that you are not throwing large chunks into these credit cards, especially right now in this economy. I am getting reports where people are throwing $4,000 in and guess what? If you have a $10,000 limit, you throw $4,000 in, they may cut your limit all the way down to the balance now, meaning $6,000.
once they cut the limit, it takes away the cash flow and all of your money that you put in there just to pay your expenses. And that can hurt. That can get you in worse shape. So please be aware that that can happen. I appreciate you all joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.